Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome at this time two-time New Yorican Grand Slam champion, Mr. Jamal St. John. Everybody hear me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this first poem uh, I'd like to dedicate to, uh, to my wife in the audience. And uh, you can clap for that. All right, all you right. can clap for that. What's your name? And that would be my wife, now sitting right there in the front row right there. That's my baby. Uh, and uh, I'd also like to dedicate this to all the full-figured women in the house. All right. All right. All the cute all right. and curvies, all the voluptuous vixens, all the ample Amazons. Lane Bryant shoppers, <laughs> Ashley Stewart shoppers, love y'all. <laughs> and this poem is dedicated to you. This poem is called In the Flesh. I happen to be one of those black men who could give a damn about Atkins. Got a serious love Jones for women with a little more meat on their bones. Cause ain't nothing wrong with a queen who happens to be queen size. Whose thighs have the kind of thunder a brother doesn't mind seeing in the daily forecast. <laughs> Treated as an outcast by a society that lives to promote low carbs and high anxiety and all of a sudden being thin became more important than being honest so women became self-conscious in the midst of becoming health conscious. Rejected and subjected to all kinds of cruelty, too big to fit into that standard of American beauty whose philosophy tends to be waif not, want not. So I often find myself daydreaming about Jill Scott cause these supermodels keep getting in the way of what I'm feeling. Someone needs to intervene on the relationship you have with your gym membership. Cause narrow minds can't possibly understand the importance of wide hips, you know, as in the kind that help birth entire civilizations. And for your information, there was beauty in your body maybe before they ever asked you to start doing Pilates. So I suggest you exercise that body, but only after you're strong enough to exorcise those demons. And Ain't no need in screaming for attention when you have those kinds of dimensions. Good God. <laughs> 36, 24, 49. Brick house designed by the architectural firm of fried chicken, cornbread, collard greens, and grits. You are what is, what always has been. Been, and what will always be sexy, even if the only crunches you know are the ones made by Nestle. Because without doing a sit up, you make the world sit up and take notice. And don't need to do a push up to make a brother want to push up. And though some may try to negatively stereotype your body most of the time, please remember that a waist is a terrible thing to mind because. <laughs> A woman should never let her love handles dictate how she handles love. Every woman wasn't meant to be a size two, so Maya Angelou was right to call you phenomenal woman, even with a little extra baby fat around your abdominals, woman, and I know that your chances of becoming America's next top model are becoming slim, fast, but a shake. For dinner won't help you shake. That feeling in dealing with cynics will make you opt for LA weight loss in a New York minute, but it's not about a calorie, it's all about reality. So in all actuality, the idea of crash dieting is craziness. Maybe this is why I've never met a black man who claims to be atheist, cause the junk in the trunk you ladies got back there provides living proof that there is a God somewhere. So don't you dare ever decide to stop eating cause skin and bones on a woman leave me as turned off as a cell phone in a poetry reading. Can you hear me now? Good 
going ahead and shake what your mama gave you. Just remember the same ones who say that they hate what your mama gave you are now seeing plastic surgeons who would take what your mama gave you. Performing nips and tucks so as to give them your hips and butt, but hell, all they can do is fake what your mama gave you. And ain't nothing like the real thing, so stop feeling so out of shape and out of place when this is clearly not the case face facts fuck starvation and come to the realization that real women have curves um you told me this crazy story of how you got started right would you right. please share that story with these folks out sure um actually uh i got started uh doing performance poetry as a result of a kidnapping uh my mother actually uh, blindfolded me, threw me in the back of a car, and uh, drove me to the New Yorican Poets Cafe and made me get up on stage and recite during an open mic. Uh, and uh, she just had, she just, she was just sick and tired of hearing me recite around the house and was like, you know, I, I really need you to get out. I, I, I need. I need this to take place, please, soon. Um, you know, and so, uh, so she, she blindfolded me, threw me in the back of the car on my 19th birthday, uh, and had me go up and perform for the first time, and I've been doing it ever since. I mean, that was 19 years old. I'm now 36, so. Well, God bless mothers. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta go. And you happen to be a 16, 18, 20, or a 22, then wouldn't that make you an above average woman? I've been up and down and over and out. And I I'll change the eight in her hand. One, two, three. Oh! You're the melody that makes my spirit sing.